This episode is brought to you by Vital Farms. Isn't it bullshit to have to question where your food comes from? At Vital Farms, you can trace your pasture-raised eggs all the way back to the source, the pasture. On the side of each pasture-raised carton of eggs, you'll find the name of the farm where your eggs were laid. And when you look the farm up on their website, you'll get a peek at all the sunshine, fresh air, and open space the hens enjoy. Learn more and find out where to buy them at vitalfarms.com. Vital Farms, keeping it bullshit free. Crypto is like finance, but different. It doesn't care when you invest, trade, or save. Do it on weekends, or at 5 a.m., or on Christmas Day at 5 a.m. Crypto is finance for everyone, everywhere, all the time. Visit kraken.com slash see what crypto can be to learn more. Not investment advice. Crypto trading involves risk of loss. Cryptocurrency services are provided to U.S. and U.S. territory customers by Payward Ventures, Inc. View PVI's disclosures at kraken.com slash legal slash disclosures. This episode is brought to you by UGG. Winter is yours to explore. You're free to play, achieve, chill. And UGG is here to help you do it all comfortably in clothing and shoes you'll love. Their new winter lifestyle collection has the winter items you need to go out and be you. From cold weather boots to iconic UGG classics, outerwear, and more. Dream a new winter. Feels like UGG. Shop the new winter lifestyle collection now at UGG.com. This episode is brought to you by Starry. When you drink Starry Lemon Lime Soda, every sip is a win. Perfect for game time or any time. It's a crisp, refreshing lemon lime soda that's caffeine-free and bursting with flavor that makes you go, ah. Starry hits different. Find it in stores or online today. Dr. Macchiarini, he's the best in the world. Starring Edgar Ramirez and Mandy Moore. I take a 3D printed trachea and transform it into a living organ. It's still an extremely experimental procedure. Based on a breathtaking true story. She's sitting there with a bloody time bomb in her throat. What did you do to them? Something's not right. Dr. Death. New Doctor. New Story. Stream the Peacock Original Series now. Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast, your go-to source for personal, professional, and organizational growth and development. We hope you tune in often for all things people management, organizational development and change, organizational leadership, and social impact related. Maximize your personal and organizational potential with Human Capital Innovations Podcast. Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. In this HCI podcast episode, I share the recent Forbes video, The Social Impact Revolution is Here. Welcome back to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. It's great to be with you again today. I'm excited to have the opportunity to share and comment on the recent Forbes video, The Social Impact Revolution is Here, as part of our Forbes feature series. There's a quiet revolution afoot. We know how things have been shifting dramatically in recent years and really in the last couple of decades as we've moved into the fourth industrial revolution. So technological advancement and innovation has certainly disrupted things and caused a lot of change. What this video is about today, however, is about a new revolution, a social impact revolution. So as we get into this video and the various clips, you'll start to hear about some of what that revolution is all about, how it's going to be changing the way organizations function in society and how we engage as employees with our employers and trying to make a difference for the social good. Whether you're karaoke with clients or traveling through four time zones in three days, using your new American Express Business Platinum Card can get you one step closer to earning 120,000 membership rewards points after you spend $15,000 in purchases in your first three months, which means that every eligible purchase is a swipe in the right direction for your business. Terms apply. Learn more at AmericanExpress.com slash business dash platinum. Amex Business Platinum. Built for business by American Express. 
This episode is brought to you by Naomi. Naomi is a big, full-flavored wine, perfect for those moments when we want to live to the fullest. These are the moments when we are completely satisfied and living in the moment. Naomi uses the best that coastal California has to offer to create our unrivaled Pinot Noir, perfectly suited for the holiday palate. Visit shopmaomi.com. That's shop, M-E-I-O-M-I dot com. Please enjoy responsibly. Naomi Wines of Campo, California. This episode is brought to you by UGG. Winter is yours to explore. You're free to play, achieve, chill. And UGG is here to help you do it all comfortably in clothing and shoes you'll love. Their new winter lifestyle collection has the winter items you need to go out and be you. From cold weather boots to iconic UGG classics, outerwear, and more. Dream a new winter. Feels like UGG. Shop the new winter lifestyle collection now at UGG.com. What are you hammering? Brock's candy canes. Candy canes? Yeah, I'm turning Brock's famous candy canes into my famous holiday peppermint bark. <laughs> uh, with a hammer? Yeah, I crush up candy canes, spread them on the sheet pan, pour melted white chocolate over them, and refrigerate. I see. Yeah, why are you holding a wreath? Well, I was going to hang it. But you need, need the, the hammer. hammer. Mm-hmm. Brock's. Make moments sweeter. Drinking and driving will change your whole world. Consider what would happen if you got pulled over after drinking. Like the legal fees, the time in court. Or a DUI on your record. Drinking and driving will change your whole world and could change someone else's too. Call a sober ride instead and change your world for the better. Don't risk it. Drive sober or get pulled over. Paid for by NHTSA. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you on the flip side of this first clip. There is a quiet revolution afoot. It may not be as loud as the technology revolution, but some experts predict it will be just as transformative. Its reverberations are being felt across executive boardrooms, foundation offices, state houses, and startups. And it's fundamentally shifting the way investments are made, policies are penned, Funds are endowed, and careers are chosen. This movement, which has been dubbed the Impact Revolution, advances a vision of doing well while doing measurable good. Doing well while doing measurable good. That is such a noble approach, and it's one that certainly has picked up steam in recent years. As organizations have grappled with corporate social responsibility initiatives, the triple bottom line, and tried trying to better understand uh, how they impact the world around them. This video tends to focus uh, more specifically on social impact investing, um, so you'll hear more of that in the additional clips as we move forward. But I do hope that you'll consider this more broadly, uh, social impact beyond social impact investing, uh, also th those corporate social responsibility elements in the roles that organizations play, the triple bottom line, as well as other relevant areas that drive social impact and social change, such as policy and governance, such as philanthropy, uh, and many other uh, areas that also play a very important role as we try to make shifts in our communities and throughout society. And really, as we think as leaders about our role in organizations to help and make sure that we're both engaging our employees through our social impact initiatives and also truly benefiting our communities. Like the tech revolution before it, the impact revolution is being fueled by a rising generation. Millennials who came of age amid unprecedented global connectivity, access to data, and economic crisis are both uniquely skeptical and empathetic. They're demanding social responsibility from corporations, launching their own social enterprises, investing with social returns in mind, and as wealth transfers, their influence will only grow. They're embracing impact investing. Certainly millennials are embracing impact investing. They are more minded towards uh, efforts towards the, so the social good, and they are very much interested in corporate social responsibility efforts within an organization. Uh, this is not only true for millennials, however, it's also true for Gen Z, and really increasingly even for uh, older generations. Uh, so we think about Gen X and baby boomers, and 
far more than was the case in, in when th- these generations were younger. They are also moving into this area of the importance of social impact investing and broader social impact initiatives within an organization. So the question is, if so many employees, particularly younger employees, are driven by social impact efforts, how can organizations better harness that motivation? How can they better harness those intentions and build upon them to both make a a difference in the community, but also to tap into those motivations to get the most out of their employees? What role do social impact initiatives play within organizations Uh, For example, towards things like employee engagement and increases in performance, job satisfaction, and employee motivation. The research increasingly is demonstrating how important this is. So it's important for us as leaders to think about how we interface with our employees and connect them to social impact initiatives that are driven through metrics and assessment and so that we can know which ones have the biggest impact. I'm excited to announce the publication of my new book from HCI Press, The Alchemy of Truly Remarkable Leadership, Ordinary Everyday Actions That Produce Extraordinary Results. Consider how the nature of work has shifted over the past 50 years. With increased globalization, rapid technological advancement, and the shift in economic composition, the average job of today looks very different than the average job of 50 years ago. What will the jobs and organizations of tomorrow look like? Moreover, what does this all mean for organizational leaders? What are the core competencies and capabilities of organizations and their leadership that are prepared for continued disruption and geopolitical and socioeconomic shifts? Regardless of what the future holds, increasingly, leaders need to be socially minded, data-driven, decisive, champions of talent, and disruptors of the traditional notions of leadership, teams, organizations, and work. The alchemy of truly remarkable leadership will help you to explore your own leadership competencies and capabilities and consider ways to apply and implement them into your workplace and personal life. First coined in 2007, and now a widely recognized investment class, one that not only considers the risk and returns of ventures, but also their concrete impact on society. Even blue chip financial firms are responding to the growing call to prioritize social returns. Philanthropies are also evolving with this changing landscape. In addition to requiring more evidence of impact from the nonprofits they fund, they're also now pushing endowment dollars toward impact investments. In reaction, nonprofits are adapting their models to target measurable social outcomes that can attract both philanthropies and impact investors. Governments, too, are beginning to consider social returns on their investments. I love that this trend has been picking up steam where we assess the social impact of various initiatives. We assess the corporate social responsibility impacts. And from there, we make decisions, thoughtful decisions about how we're going to put additional funding moving forward. So as we think about social impact investing, it's simply a a more analytical approach to thinking about the common um, types of social issues and social problems and challenges that we've had for a long time. And for a long time, we've met those needs through community organizations, churches, nonprofits. And if you could tell a compelling story, then you might get donors to put money towards your initiative or your program or to help somebody. Now we're, we're, we've matured and we have the ability to be more data driven. And so we can actually assess uh, what the actual ROI is of a particular type of project. Does it have the outcomes that we had intended? What are those outcomes? Uh, How much is the reach of what we were trying to accomplish? And what's the return on investment for the dollars that are put towards that initiative? 
So just like we should be doing for every other part of the organization, you know, we put priority towards those areas that are most beneficial, uh, that have the biggest impact, and we reinvest into those areas. Uh, the same thing goes with uh, social impact investing. And now more and more uh, organizations uh, and, and banks and, and finance institutions, they're looking towards the social good and they're looking towards social impact outcomes in connection to the, the type of money uh, that they're putting into the system. And I think that's only a good thing. By funding preventative, data-driven initiatives, they can calculate cost savings and even attract investment from capital markets to scale effective social programs. Ultimately, the Impact Revolution is tackling urgent social challenges by aligning goals across sectors, empowering change makers with data, and channeling capital into engines for social good. I just love everything about that. Funneling capital towards engines for social good, making data-based decisions, understanding the importance of making sure that every dollar we put into a new initiative has the desired outcomes, and to be more responsible and to show greater levels of responsibility towards our broader communities and to recognize our role in moving forward the social good. So I think social impact investing specifically and, and social impact initiatives more generally are very important for organizations. It's certainly a trend uh, that I think everyone needs to pay attention to, but beyond being trendy, uh, what we really see in the literature is that as organizations embrace these corporate social responsibility initiatives, as they embrace so social impact investing, and as they connect their people and their passions to these initiatives, that it can be a tremendous tool for uh, attracting and retaining the best people. Younger employees want to make a difference. They want to make an impact in the world, and they don't want to wait until they're retired to do it. And so organizations can leverage that motivation to bring the best and the brightest into their organization and to not only help the, the, the company achieve its, its strategy, the, the normal elements of its strategy and bring value to the market, but also to bring a broader good to our communities. As always, thank you for joining me for this episode of the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. I hope you stay healthy and safe that you can find meaning and purpose at work each and every day. And I hope you have a great week. We are excited about the launch of HCI's new magazine, Human Capital Leadership. Human Capital Leadership is a free interactive e-magazine designed to help individuals, leaders, and organizations find innovative approaches to maximize their human capital potential. We will be publishing issues quarterly in August, November, February, and May. Check out the first issue and let us know what you think. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. I hope you stay healthy and safe and that you have a great week. Check out our new weekly LinkedIn newsletter, Alchemizing Human Capital, exploring industry trends via original research and interviews with executives and thought leaders from across the globe. We look forward to having you join us.